Okay, it is early and I'm getting ready for my first day of psychiatry rotation. This will be my second short three week rotation and we're about to drive to my site. But before then, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video and the provider of my glasses for a very long time, GlassesUSA.com. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers over 9,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E. Or if you want designer brands, they also got you covered from styles from Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and much more at up to 70% off retail price. You can shop for all your eyewear needs at affordable prices starting at only $30 with basic prescription lenses included without ever leaving your house. In my opinion, shopping for glasses online is just the simplest and best way to go about it, especially when you have a busy schedule like mine is with rotations going on, and GlassesUSA.com makes it so, so easy. In addition to their expansive selection of frames, you get a risk-free shopping experience with free shipping and returns, a full refund guarantee within 14 days delivery, and a 365 day product warranty. All so you can get exactly what you want, no questions asked. They got tons of options to figure out exactly what you want, like style quizzes and virtual try-on tools, blue light options if you're staring at screens all day like me, and even 25% off all brands of prescription contacts if you're not a glasses wearer. If you are in need of a new pair of glasses or for some reason like the glasses that I wear, Visit GlassesUSA.com in the links down below to go check them out and enjoy the same amazing shopping experience that I've had for as long as I've had to wear glasses. So thank you GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's video and let's go start my psychiatry rotation. So my rotation is at a place called East Central Re Regional Hospital, which is an all inpatient psychiatric facility. But a 15 minute commute every single morning and we have to be there at least by 8.30 to get a nursing report from any overnight events, uh, as well as just like getting there early to chart review any new patients that came in. Now this psych experience is a lot different than most others because it is all inpatient. Now as you can imagine the criteria for needing inpatient treatment is uh, pretty high. So the patient population you see is very very sick. So this is kind of what it looks like when you roll up. Very flat very secluded and very secure. Because the patient population is very much on the schizophrenia spectrum, a lot of mania, bipolar, um, and just very, very sick, vulnerable patients, we aren't really allowed to use our phones in there and for good reason. So you'll have to bear with me while I paint you guys a verbal picture of kind of how my day looks. That right there is why sometimes they call psych rotation the psychation. <laughs> Name one other rotation where you consistently get done at 12.30. So typically the morning is all about getting that morning report uh, and then going to round on most, if not all the patients on your list and then just do your notes and uh, after that, you go home. It's a fairly chill as far as like simply practical logistical stuff. It's a pretty chill rotation. But what happens on rounds is what makes this really interesting. So when you think of the word and specialty of psychiatry, what do you often think of? 
Is it the guy with the box of tissues and like the couch talking you through your feelings? Cause for me, that's typically what I associate with psychiatry. When you're on an inpatient psychiatry rotation like I am, you're not gonna find any sort of uh, tissues or nice plush fancy couch. Uh, and it's not exactly for the faint of heart. In fact, if you recognize the name ECRH or East Central Regional, it's because this guy, uh, my good friend, Dr. Kojo, actually worked there. So um, I can verify he's got some experience with some pretty complex pathology. So my first day went kind of like this. I go to nursing report and there's just banging all around me. Very, very noisy, crowded room, banging and yelling everywhere. As the nurse is telling me about the agitated patient that urinated on the counter because didn't want to go out or wasn't let outside. And before that, we had to go through a mandatory self-defense training module. Now, I want to be very clear. These patients are not all dangerous, aggressive, and agitated. However, some of the diagnostic criteria for mania, as well as if you get very severe psychosis, secondary to schizophrenia, schizoaffective, you have to be prepared to defend yourself as well as your other team members. That is something that in an inpatient psychiatric facility is just part of the deal. Now, this is a inpatient psychiatric hospital, meaning the goal is not to keep them there. It is to stabilize them and then get them to rehab and get them the support they need to live as much of a normal life as possible after discharge. But as far as patient interactions, this has definitely been the most interesting ones because you get very non-linear thought process uh, individuals where you have to try really, really hard to piece together their story. And sometimes it's just, you can't. And it's because they're very, very sick. And so these people definitely need our help. And it's just a very interesting experience as a medical student going into these situations that are very different than your typical outpatient or even typical inpatient setting. And I'm actually very, very grateful for this opportunity because it's one of those things where if you are not actually going into psychiatry, this is pathology that you will never, ever see again in your entire medical career. You always hear about the instances of somebody like talking to a corner or talking to things or seeing things that aren't there, but actually witnessing someone with those experiences and how terrified they are of it is just a completely just paradigm shifting experience. So overall, my days are pretty simple. I just come in here and do some classified psych stuff. Oh, what time is it? Time to go back and study. But it's like 11.30. <laughs> I know, it's horrible. How are you enjoying your uh, ECRH experience so far? Kind of crazy. Uh, definitely different. Uh, you know, never, never thought I'd hear someone talking to themselves for the first time, so. <laughs> typically is a good sign uh getting more right than wrong just ignore that one that one that one was hard okay last day here we go and just like that returned my keys parking pass got my final evals we are done with psych <sighs> and with that officially halfway done with my clerkship year. I'm sorry that you guys don't get to see too much, but really I, I have no words in the past three weeks um, that can 
describe I think the experience of working in inpatient psychiatry, especially in a state facility. To put it in the residents' words, you just simply aren't gonna see anything significantly worse than what we've been seeing over the past three weeks. And even if you don't wanna go into psychiatry, like, this is just pathology you will never ever see again. Uh, and it's a really good gauge to know like, even if you're just doing internal medicine or something, you have to know or get a sense of what that cutoff is of, oh my God, please go grab the Haldol and Ativan right now. And that's a good gauge that you learn here. And just like that, final exam done, psychiatry, mission accomplished. So, so far that means I have completed OBGYN, internal medicine, a simulation education elective, neurology, and psychiatry. And these are a few of the things that I've learned so far, kind of when we're calling it half time and I get a little breather, which is very much needed. First, rotations are absolutely no joke. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest, they've been kicking my butt this entire time, which is why uploads have been slowing. But you learn as you go to study and you are simply just figuring things out and it gets better. Two, miracle of childbirth, just the most beautiful thing in the world. Three, I really love the very comprehensive approach to patient care that internal medicine brings, where you're caring for every little past medical history that comes through the doors. Four, I just really love simulation education and I see it as a great way for me to incorporate video work into my medical career in the future. Five, residents are your absolute best friends. I think the one rotation where I didn't have residents with me, I really miss them. And that's just a personal thing. Some people like the direct physician to student interaction. I kind of like having residents with me and having that, I think, banter of we're all just figuring things out together and no one is like super superior to the other. And it leads to a very friendly and inviting environment to learn. And I think finally, something you guys might be interested in knowing about me, uh, the OR is by far my favorite place in the hospital. So I'll be keeping that in mind as I continue throughout the second half of my clerkship year. We got family med, pediatrics, anesthesia and surgery all on the back end of the year. It's gonna be a great time. I'm starting to finally hit my stride with studying alongside working long hours. Family Meds up next. We'll see you there. Thanks, glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video.